Oh no, it's a pez poo. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, the Kickstarter edition of Star Saga. And in a following video, I'm going to be looking at the Kickstarter edition of The Walking Dead. But for now, this is the box. It's different to the uh, retail one. And pick up. And this is the first thing. I haven't opened it yet, so um, it's the first time I've seen it as well. I can't talk too loud because it's late. I haven't had time to look at it yet. So it's some nice artwork. And then I'll take these out and we'll look at them individually. So I don't know if there's anything under here, but we'll have a look in a second. It's hard to do with one hand. And this is the first um, wave of the Kickstarter. There's some other stuff coming in the following months. Okay, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, I've unpacked it all. Um, I haven't taken the cards for the Nexus out and I haven't taken the character cards out of the sleeves yet. So they're, they're skills, that's the Nexus deck. Um, but what you get, um, is all out now. So, um, first thing I'm gonna say uh, is in, just initially looking, because I've been to the open day today to pick this up. Um, the I mean, initial impressions at the open day were good, uh, but looking at the miniatures more closely tonight, um, I'm really impressed. The quality, which I'll show you in a second, is uh, being ramped up on the miniatures and they look like they'll paint up really nicely uh, gone are the days of rustic uh, which is nice uh, the only person I think is a sort of uh, he's possibly it doesn't seem like rustic he's probably just resin there's this chap here he's pretty sweet okay so you get the scenery and these are quite hefty uh, a few of them will need just warming up to straighten them out but uh, there's some nice doors there and some terminals, a few of them that bent from being in the packet and that one. But nothing that's um, a major problem. And uh, they'll paint up quite well. So they're really cool, I like those. And so uh, another good thing there, these are the uh, board tiles and we'll take a look at, the, at those. Uh, you get a rule book, you get the, uh, the mission book, which is sort of narrative based. Uh, I've got the uh, dice bag and the dice um, and that's it with this uh, with this set so now I'm just going to turn off and we're going to go over by the light a bit more and I'm going to try and show you what I haven't seen in most of the unboxing videos which seem to be from over here saying oh look I've got Star Saga uh, it's brilliant yeah great uh, now we're going to have a look close up at the miniatures and the details and the things that you want to see, hopefully, which is usually the thing I want to see, but we don't generally get to see it. Okay, so back in a sec. Okay, I'm gonna start with um, the miniatures because you don't want to wait for me to pile through the scenery first. Um, so there's your um, resin piece. And he's quite a sizable abomination style. Don't know the names of them yet. But um, detail is very good. I've seen it painted up and um, it looked pretty sweet. Okay, now there are here, I'm not going to show you every single one of the Nexus, uh, the ones in red are the Nexus ones and the blue ones are the hero characters. I'm not going to show you every single one of those because there's there, for example, three packs that are the same. So there's just multiples of them, the same here. The red ones are multiples of. So I'll just show you um, one of each. But first I'm gonna show you the heroes so you've not gotta stick around for the Nexus guys if you don't want to. Okay, I don't know what he's called, but it's some kind of weird vine-like alien that's got um, some console parts in its hands. 
and it's got like a leaf um, detailing on it, like Triffid. If you're old like me, you'll know what a Triffid is. So that's pretty sweet, funky looking. I like that one. You got this chap. Let's see if I can uh, brighten you up a bit. There you go. You can see there the detail is very good. That'll take paint quite well. Very crisp. So these are, when you think these are one part, uh, well they look like some of them have been assembled at the factory end. But they are single piece, straight out of the box, playable pieces. No gluing, nothing like that. When you think of that, that is very good quality. Very good quality. You can't um, complain about that at all for a single piece miniature. Um, this is the uh, Enforcer dude. I think once they've got a little bit of primer on them, you'll be able to see the detail more because um, uh, the dark, dark plastic doesn't uh, bode well for the camera. But there you go, it's pretty cool. And then you've got the probably least in, least interesting chap. He just looks like he's a General Joe with a hat on and a pistol. Looking at his smartwatch. And also in that set comes a little um, sort of, might be an objective crate or explosives or something. Okay, the next hero is a Vermeer. Lovely details on this one. Very nice. We'll paint up really nicely. I'm really happy that the, the detail is there because I do want to paint this set up. It's going to take me some time. But the worst thing you can have is the shallow detail. Having to paint in the details makes it hard work. But on these, this fish lady. Looks pretty sweet. Okay, next. And excuse me, I'm trying to do it with one hand. I can't um, access my tripod this late at night. That's nice. Nice backpack details. Quite cool poses as well, actually. This is uh, the Blaine figure. bit beastie. Oops, there you go. He's a bit beastie. His cloak on. Armour, power armour. Pretty sweet. Big as you can see there, he's quite tasty. <clears throat> I like this one. We've got backwards legs or feet or arms. Very cool. Different. And this one. It's like, um, I don't know the names of them. Do we add a Dread Bull team of them? Pretty cool. This one. It's like he's got some kind of flame weapon. Normally when they've got a canister on them. And then I know the name of this one, this is Kirby. Everybody seems to uh, want to play as this character for hacking the stations and things. What I'll probably do is take this post out and put a little thin piece of wire in so it's less noticeable. I'll put a clear um, glass sort of plastic rod in it. He's cool. You also get another one of these little packs. Oops, that's gone. That's gone now. It's at the floor. I already bounced, that's it. I'll never see it again. Nice details, nice face on this lady. You know she means business because she's tied her hair up, look. No messing. Is this one called the Wraith or something like that? 
pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's that one or the other one, or this one. He's cool. Yep, very good. And the last one is the dwarf. And he's uh, picking up a, uh, a nice ice donut off the floor. Powering himself up, ready for the uh, engineering task ahead. Judging by the looks of his backpack. That's pretty cool. So there you go, there's the heroes in this pack. Oh, there's also in blue uh, these sentry guns, which are nicely detailed. There's two of those and these tiny little pieces that don't know. It might be mines. Um, that come with it. So that's all the blue stuff. Okay, so we're going to move on to uh, a few of the Nexus people. So this is like a plague character, by the looks of it. I pose. And then there's one of these guys. Is he possibly, is that a flamer? I'm not sure. He's got a BMX helmet on, so it might be. Got a running, running plague, giving it Billy big steps. These will definitely show up better on the camera once they're um, got a, a blast of primer on them. Because the shiny plastic's always a pain. Another sort of uh, like that guards, don't they? Different poses, different weapons, and pretty sweet details on the legs on those guys. And there's this one giving it the old pointy, the classic pointy pose. Um, try to find a different one. One with a knife. Pretty sweet. Um, is this a different one? Yep. Yeah. Running. Giving it some motion. Giving it billies. Um, what's this one? Now you've had that one. Let's try this one. He's adjusting his uh, AirPods. Pretty cool. Details on the back there. Um, have we had this one? Yeah, I've got that one. Got another sort of casual pose. So these look like your general security style guys. And another pose there. Unless we've just had him, I'm not sure. No, we haven't. Um, this one. She's got a big um, pokey stick. She looks like she's a uh, mean business. I think, other than um, multiples, so we've still got these here, but they're multiples of these bad looks of it. Um, so <clears throat> that covers those. Some of the scenery pieces, they're quite heavy, solid. And I've seen them painted up, they paint up quite nicely. And you've got the uh, sort of uh, utility rack with all kinds of uh, gear and access in it. And the uh, terminal, sort of hacking terminal type things. And ammo racks, weapon racks, sorry. And you get. Um, Tables and these kinds of tables too. You get the sort of part of bench type things. Simple but effective. You get like crates and uh, just general odd looking sci fi things. Uh, these terminals are quite cool. 
paint them up with a little bit of text. Uh, so there's multiples of those, and then your doors, it's like one single, you get a large, uh, sort of roundy ones, there's a few of these more angular, angular ones, They're quite hefty. Very nice, you can use them on, uh, use them on lots of things, can't you really? Um, so the, the, the terrain crates are pretty cool. Uh, so um, you don't need to look at dice because they're boring. Uh, that's pretty cool. Something to keep them all in. And um, I'm not going to flick through the rule book or the mission book. Uh, I'll just give you a quick look at the tiles if you haven't seen them. And I'll also give you a quick look at the upgrade MDF tiles that you'll be getting in around March time, I think, if you've ordered the upgrade. Um, because I did those with Dark Ops um, as an upgrade and we showed them today at the open day. So I'll show you the difference between the two. So I'll just clear this away. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna uh, push these out, um, but a lot of the tokens are for where the reinforcements come in, and um, there's like the sentry gun ones, um, some casualties there. Don't know what these do yet. But you're looking at the uh, quality of the cards. Quite nice actually. And they're different on the reverse, as you can see. Um, and they're just various shades of whites and silvers and greys with the squares marked out with these little white uh, flashes, these little crosses to show you where one square is and on the other side. And then the flamer template, obviously, pointing out the obvious there. And that's flames as well, and just in case you don't know. Um, and yeah, this one. So yeah, some nice big tiles in there, and a lot of corridor sections for variation. And um, while we're on this tile, I'll show you the... Um, MDF version of it. Um, so these I'm showing you aren't the exact ones because they're still in prototype from some of the earlier images that I was given rather than the updated ones. So they, they'll be sort of a mix between the two really because I can't update all the all of them completely. Um, but you get the idea. It's two pieces of MDF I'll show you actually. It's uh, a three mil base and a two mil detail sheet. So you can spray that grey or spray it black with some car primer. Uh, I usually do them while they're still on the sprue because they all we'll, we'll come on sprues. Uh, same with these, spray these grey with some car primer, hit it with some white. And then the detail lines are quite deep. So when you're painting the lines in, you haven't got to be a paint master. Um, the paint just generally falls into the, to the grooves there. Um, just use PVA to stick them together once you've painted them up, um, but you get the idea. It gives it an extra sort of uh, 3D effect. There's this one that needs the middle painting black really. It's a little corridor section. And then there's bigger ones. Just painted on some little lighting effects. So, got a fair bit of weight to them so they shouldn't move too much. This one it's turned out quite nice, but there's a lot of detail in the tiles, and got a lot of good feedback at the uh, at the open day. People were, were really liking them, so uh, I think it was mission accomplished with those. So I'm quite pleased with how these those come out really. Um, so like I say, there's there's nothing wrong with the uh, the ones you get in the in the core set, um, but if you do want to upgrade, you can just get these. These will be at retail anyway, around the March time. After the Kickstarter, second wave backers have got theirs. Um, they'll go to retail. And they went for, I think they retail for 40 pounds. And um, if you want to upgrade your set to those, um, when I painted some miniatures up, uh, I've got some videos out. But you can see uh, there's a cut 
where the or there's a line to show you more where against the white contrast where your squares are so it's easy to find where you need to be okay so that's my um close look at uh, star saga and um i'm really impressed with the miniatures i think they'll paint up uh, very well and mantic are obviously moving in the right direction with the quality of the miniatures and um Obviously, big shout out to my own Dark Ops terrain tiles if you want to get them later on. Um, and if you've backed them on the Kickstarter, thank you very much. Uh, it's appreciated and uh, always makes the work that we put in worthwhile. So um, that's it for now. The next video, what I'll do, will be the uh, Walking Dead All Out War Kickstarter edition unboxing. Thanks for watching.